Well, folks, we're back. Very similar setup as last time. We got a whole bunch of cups here, and we got Big Al again, back by popular demand. <laughs> but today, we're actually doing something very different. Last time, it was a budget whiskey. This time, getting, all, getting all crunk up on the caffeine, looking at some grocery store coffees. Coffee is another one of these things that plays a big role in my life. It also plays a role in the fact that I've mentioned this before that I don't even talk to this one in the morning until she's had some. Because as sweet and lovely of a person as she is, Linda Blair from The Exorcist prior to coffee. Just, hey, I was like, ah, I just exaggerate so much. No, no. He doesn't ever really get to experience it because I get up before him. Right. Every day. Purposely. She needs coffee and a little quiet time in the morning before me I and do. the kids get up. I do. So that way, by the time she gets, we get up, she's caffeinated. She's had a little zen, got the demons in a good place, <laughs> and she doesn't try to kill us all. <laughs> Would you say I'm a coffee snob? Um, I mean, no. I, would say, I wouldn't say you're a coffee snob. I wouldn't say I'm a coffee snob per se, but... You boy, like a good cup of coffee. I enjoy a good cup of coffee, and I like to geek out and get into all the... The different blends and the espressos and the you know all the different types yeah. of espresso drinks and the pour overs and all that. Much like the last video we did on whiskey, where we're going over budget whiskeys. Well, this is kind of the same premise. We're we've got my go-to. Now I'm not going to say this is a higher end brand, but it is a little more expensive. It's like one of my favorite coffees on the planet, Black Rifle Coffee. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's delicious. And before we get into a political thing, I, I don't care what your views are <laughs> about the political leanings, whether it's good, bad, and different. It's a veteran-owned company. They make great coffee. That's, That's all it. I care about. I don't care about anything. So don't even comment. Oh, nip it. Zip. Stop it. Just shh. Zip it good. Zip it. Zip it. Zip it. Zip it. This is oh. me. You know what? Veteran-owned, good coffee. Don't give a shit about the rest. But anyway, this is going to kind of be our control. We got this one in there, and we got some, like, normal grocery store coffees. I got pre-ground on all of them, which I really don't normally recommend. I normally like whole bean coffee and I grind it. Grinding your coffee fresh makes for just a better cup. But being that this is a budget video, having a grinder and grinding your coffee is an additional expense. So for your normal budget guy that doesn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on coffee, you just want to get up, put some coffee in a coffee. And we didn't do pour over no. or anything fancy. Tried we to make it just as basic. Tried to make this as basic as but we put it in our coffee pot, which we do have a nice coffee pot. What's our coffee pot called? It's a it's the uh, Mocha Master. The Mocha Master, which is it's not a Mr. Coffee. It's a fairly expensive coffee pot. We used to use the Breville Precision Brewer, that finally gave out on us after like three or four years. The Mocha Master uh, is a good coffee pot, but it's pretty yeah. There, it's no frills. It's just no, but it but it's like a complies to some barista standard thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's higher end. It makes delicious coffee. And it, if you've it's never so had it, if you've never had a Mocha Master, by the way, it's quiet, it's fast, and it yeah. makes a hell of a lot of a hell of a good cup of coffee. And it's simple. You turn it on, and if there's water in the chamber, it's coming out in the tank. It's coming out the and other it, end, and it makes a damn good cup of cup of coffee. Here we go. We started five <laughs> minutes into this son of a bitch, and I'm. <laughs> it makes a damn good cup of coffee if you don't want to spend the time to do pour over or espresso or espresso drink or any of that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's my pitch on Mocha Master. Not sponsored. Not involved with the company. They just make a good coffee pot. I will link it down below though. So affiliate. They got you them know, on Amazon. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to help the channel out. Buy a $400 coffee pot through our affiliate link. <laughs> the coffees we're going to do today, and these were all coffees I went up to my local Publix and I got. Black Rifle Coffee, I did not get at Publix. That's not a grocery store coffee, uh, but they do sell it at Ace and stuff. Uh, and then you can obviously get on their site. We got Duncan at our local store. It is their original blend medium roast. And we paid 10 bucks for 12 ounces. So definitely not the cheapest, but it is grocery store coffee. It's not... 15 to 20 dollars a bag like some of your higher end roasters kind of sell their coffee for so duncan we had to put in there it's kind of everybody loves duncan right i'm curious my wife says she actually really likes this but we got some pete's yeah. coffee 12 bucks 12.50 12.50 so again not the most budget 
but fairly budget in comparison to the 15 to 20. And you can get this at most grocery stores. This is the medium roast Pete's coffee. The big bang is what the blend is called. And uh, this was for 10.5 ounces. So not the cheapest, but again, grocery store brand. And uh, according to the wife, it's good stuff. I've never had it. Okay, now this is one that a lot of you guys have talked about. I've heard this anytime I've done anything with coffee, a lot of guys comment, Death Wish, have you tried Death Wish? I have not tried Death Wish. Or if I have, it's been so long, I don't remember now. You can get this at a grocery store, and this was pretty cheap. It was like, you said eight or nine? Eight dollars. Eight bucks for 16 ounces. So that's a pretty good sized bag of coffee for eight bucks. Most coffee that's bags are like 12 or something. Than the other ones. That's cheaper than the other ones. And this is the world's strongest coffee. This is their medium roast. Uh, and I think their shtick is supposedly it's got a shit ton of caffeine in it which uh, depending on your sensitivity to caffeine, you might want to go a little easy, but hey, <laughs> Death Wish coffee. Curious to see what that tastes like because like I said, a lot of you guys talk about this stuff. Next, we got an eight o'clock coffee. Now, I know you guys have seen eight o'clock coffee. I've seen this in every grocery store I've ever been in anywhere in the entire yeah. United States. Eight o'clock coffee is pretty standard stuff. This one was, what do you say, nine bucks? Uh, nine dollars and 19 cents. This one was nine dollars for 12 ounces. This is their medium original roast. It says sweet, fruity, and well-balanced. Well, we'll be the judge of that shit. And last, but certainly not least, because we had to limit it, because we can't have 32 coffees, we'd have caffeine overload and be shaken in the in the <laughs> video, is Folgers. $4.79. $4.79 for... Now, this is a smaller thing. It's nine ounces. So, I mean, price per amount, you know, whatever. This is their coffee house blend, which is a medium dark roast. So I'm giving this the benefit of the doubt. Uh, most of those I think are more medium roast and this is medium dark. So hopefully, cause I found with a lot of these Folgers and Maxwell house, the problem is they just taste like nothing. They're just like bleh. So we'll see how it stacks up, but this is probably the most budget and the most like common name coffee that we're gonna be tasting. These are all pre-ground, so that takes the factor out. And we brewed them all according to the bag's recommendations. In general, most of these, it was about six ounces for about 10 grams of coffee was the recommendation on most of these. It was between 10 yeah, it was like two tablespoons. Yeah, between 10 and two and a half tablespoons. Two, two and a half tablespoons for six ounces of coffee. And that equals out to about 10 to 12 grams of coffee uh, per six ounces of water. Except the Folgers. Except the Folgers. Now, this is the weird one that's going to come in that I wanted to talk about this before we got going. The Folgers says to do one tablespoon, which is like about five grams of coffee per six ounces of water. That might be why all these like cheaper coffees taste like shit because they, they have bad brewing instructions and people aren't putting enough coffee. But nevertheless, we brewed all the others according to the manufacturer specs. So we figured that would be the fairest way to do it. We'll see if that affects the end result. Could taste like watered down piss. I don't know. <laughs> Same as before. Same as we did with the whiskey last video. I'm gonna pour them. I know which numbers are associated with which coffees. We got letters in the bottom of the cups. Then Big Al is gonna switch the orders and stuff. So neither one of us will really know what the hell's going on. We'll blind these. We'll talk about them as we go. See how they stack up. <laughs> but before we get going and drink all this damn coffee and get completely hopped up on caffeine. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. That was Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Let's take a second to thank longtime partners of the channel and sponsors of this video, Tiege Hanley. Taking care of your skin is something that I think a lot of you guys just don't think about. And some guys are downright think it's something that guys just shouldn't do. I've actually had comments on videos saying stuff like, Men don't use no daggum face cream. Or, one of my favorites. The age of real men is over. We've got guys talking about lotion. Well, my horribly misguided friends, I am here to keep fighting the good fight to help change that extremely dated thought process. Taking care of yourself along with your skin and being well-groomed is in fact a very manly endeavor. Luckily, our good friends and sponsors of the video, Tiege Hanley, are here to help us out with keeping our face from looking like a wrinkly old nutsack. Like most of you guys, I used to just wash my face with like regular old bar soap and I had some tired, dry ass skin on my face. I've sang the praises of Tiege Hanley on the channel for probably close to three years now because I really think their products are good stuff. I recommend you start off with their level one system, which comes with all the basics. You've got a daily face wash to clean you up an exfoliating scrub to knock off all that dead skin, an AM moisturizer with 20 SPF to protect you from the melanomas, and 
a PM moisturizer. They also include a card with instructions on how much and when to use the products. Being a member also has cool benefits like 20% off retail price, ability to customize your box, exclusive deals, pause or cancel at any time, and free shipping in the US. Because the good folks at Tiege Hanley are sponsoring this video, they are offering my viewers a great deal. So just click the first link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box and a free gift. And can we take just a second before we go? They've got a ball powder. I'm a big fan of the ball powder. <laughs> the ball powder is pretty game changing. It's very cooling. I don't know what's in it, but when you put it on, it keeps your boys nice and dry throughout the day. If you live somewhere hot like me, Florida, where swamp ass and swamp nuts, is swamp nuts a thing? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't have them. Where it tends to get moist. Moist. Oh, it's great stuff. So the point is, not only do they make skincare. They have body wash. They have like body wash, deodorants ball powders big thanks to those guys for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel so definitely go check those guys out and give them some love let's get hopped up on some caffeine we are all mixed up nobody knows what is what i got my napkin to squeegee coffee out of the old womb broom never heard of called a disgusting. <laughs> you've never heard of never heard it called a womb broom no oh boy <laughs> See guys, this is what she's like normally. Normally you guys get her when she's on a little whiskey. She gets a little frisky. Just so you guys see the real Allison. Are you starting from the end? Which side do you want to start from? I don't know, we usually start over there. Okay, we'll start over here. This isn't gonna matter as much as with... I'm not gonna smell all these coffee. There's actually a difference though. I'm, I'm gonna bring them in closer to me though, because they're way up here out front. <laughs> I do want to kind of hurry though, because I don't want them to get too cold, but... I can tell you, there's not as much difference with coffee as there is with whiskey. There's probably gonna be some coffee connoisseur out there telling me I'm 100% wrong, but from a fairly novice perspective, they all smell real, real, real similar. It's not bad, a little fruity, it's not bitter. There's not a ton going on there, but I wouldn't say it's unpleasant. She doesn't drink black coffee, so this is going to be kind of a tough one. I'll I'd... still be able to pick which one is the best black coffee. It's true. If I had to drink it black, which I would never choose to do voluntarily. Okay. I like this one better than this one. That one is smoother. So. Yeah, that's nice. That one's got like a, it's a little chocolatey, I feel yeah. like. There's some chocolatey notes in that one, and it's very smooth. Me and her always do things different. <laughs> I move forward because in my opinion, they're like, I'm moving them forward. I'm moving ahead. She pulls them closer to her. She likes them. <laughs> All right. Number three. This one's okay, too. Most of those are right. That one, I don't care for that. It's all right, but honestly, there's a little bit of a sourness in there. Like almost like it's like usually of coffee. I believe it's if it's under extracted, it's sour, and then if it's over extracted, it's bitter. If I'm remembering my my extractions properly, some of you coffee guys can probably correct me on that if I'm wrong. But don't you get a little bit of a sour note in that one? Yeah. Once you mentioned it, I kind of picked that up. Like I said, same coffee pot, same everything. So I don't know. So far, these two are about on even ground. This is the standout so far for me. It's got an interesting little note in it. I need to, I need to swish. Mm, I don't love that. This might be harder than the whiskey one for me. I know. Because I'm not getting any clear winners other than this one. This one, I actually really like the flavor of. Yeah. These three so far, they're This all... one's my least. That was the first one. I didn't like that at all. These, the second. And third. Or, or the, third the, the third and fourth. Or, mm. Okay. Hmm. No. No? See, that one's got a little bitter. And I tend to I like bitter flavors a lot because of some of my other habits. I won't mention some of my other habits. Get in trouble for that. You know, I think YouTube demonetized my last video because I mentioned that. So I'm not even saying nothing. I'm not saying the name of it. <laughs> We're not talking about it. Although. No. Mm -mm. No? Nope. I, I disagree. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that one. These three so far, this is by far my favorite. This yeah. is my second favorite so far. And these three, I've got to retaste. Last one, number six. That one's not bad either. Over here okay. swishing coffee. I'm sure my dentist is going to love <laughs> me for that one. Thanks for swishing. This one's, this one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. So that was first pass. I've got one that so far I think is my clear favorite. These three are kind of eh, and these two are kind of tied for second for me. Can you tell what I have going on here? No, I have no <laughs> clue. It looks like a f simple mind over there. <laughs> yeah, that Already. one's okay, man. I'm not mad at that one. Yeah. That sixth one there. I'm not mad at that one, but there's a little bit of a, that sour flavor, but... It's like some kind of fruit or something I taste in there. And look, this might be a good time to say this shit is very subjective. I, yeah. I tend to like stuff that has a little bolder, richer, kind of chocolatey notes involved. And this one, to me, has got a little chocolatiness to it. These in here are a little more fruity, sour, which I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of that in general, which is why I normally don't like, like light roast coffees. They're usually fruitier and stuff like that. I tend to like, you know, not Starbucks, like burnt coffee, but a little bolder, richer, chocolatey, darker flavors. I'll say this, for these being all like grocery store coffees, none of these are horrible. I wouldn't be mad at any of these, in my opinion. I know there's a couple she said she really didn't like. I wouldn't be mad at any of these. And if you put like a little bit of, like a little scoop of sugar in here and just a tiny bit of half and half, I think any of these would make a pretty decent cup. Al's done, though. You know what's funny is as they're cooling off and I'm drinking them, it's getting harder. <laughs> because they're, they're kind of equalizing a little bit, which should say something that maybe, you know, now if these were all done pour over and done you know, to a very specific ratio and stuff. Maybe there would have been some bigger differences, fresh ground and stuff like that. But as they're cooling and I'm going from one to one, I'm having a harder time distinguishing my favorites. Well, I'm completely screwed up. I've, I've, I've tasted and I've rechanged my mind 15 times. I have no confidence in this scale because every time I taste them, I switch them around. <laughs> I guess is is a result in and of itself to say that they're all pretty close. I mean, not to me. To her, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I decided quickly the first time through when they were hot. I thought I nailed it down. Yeah, well, and that's then, what I did. I and then I went back through and I started tasting. I'm like, oh well, wait a minute. Now that this one's cooling down, this one actually know. tastes a little better. Let me switch that one. Yeah. So I have no confidence in this rating whatsoever. <laughs> So we'll see. Good. We'll see how so it's. Just we'll, go with mine. We'll see how it stacks up. It's just kind of like with the whiskeys. I have two that were like definitely at the end. These two were definite. These two were like I could switch, and these two were close. With the whiskeys, I had some. I have clear. I, whiskey was very clear, but this was, was very clear very, for me as well. This actually. wasn't. This was clear as mud for me, if I'm being honest. Right. Last place for me was B. E. So for you, last place was Pete's. <laughs> And for me, last That's place. I usually, well, they have different. Last place was kinds. B for me, which was eight o'clock coffee. Okay. The, the, these two were the only two that for some reason, they were giving me a little bit of a sour note that I wasn't vibing. These, I was switching which ones I liked constantly. Fifth place for me was F. A. Death Wish for me and Black Rifle for you came in fourth or fifth. Mm. Sorry, all you Death Wish lovers out there. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'll try the um, whole bean next time and I'll grind it myself and do some pour over or something and see if that changes my opinion. Like I said, I was getting a little bit of a sour situation there, which Pate's... Watch my favorite be Folgers. <laughs> Probably will be. Fourth place for me, E. B. <laughs> Those are all different. So Pete's for me was fourth place. And for you, it was what? B, which is eight o'clock coffee. All right. Folgers has not popped up on either one of our lists yet. And we're, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Third place. A. F. Mine was Black Rifle. Came in dead in the middle. Third place. And for you? F. F. Death, Death Wish. Wish. Death Wish coffee. So third, third place. Oh, dude. We're in the last two and Folgers hasn't come up yet. I'm just saying, this is looking I good. I bet you it was like the one we were like, ooh, that's good, smooth. Yeah, this is looking good for the folks at Folgers and looking bad for <laughs> us having sophisticated palates, okay? I'm just saying. I'm like, Man, maybe I should stop buying them. Second place for me is D. C. Duncan. C for you is Folgers. So, hold on. So we're some basic ass bitches, basically, because that means... Number one for me is C, That's which Folgers. is Folgers, and number one D. D, which is Duncan. So our first and second place were Folgers and Duncan. Some, That's funny. Some basic ass bitches. That just goes that. to show you, 
You don't always need to spend a bunch of coffee on a bunch of money on coffee. It's kind of like whiskey in the last thing we did, right? You get mixed up in the hype and all that, and you got me on a different day, different brew method. You know, if this was freshly ground, the results could possibly be different. Yeah. I don't even think you can buy Folgers whole bean. No, I don't think Which is one of the reasons why I went with pre-ground, because I wanted it to be an even playing ground. I didn't think it would be fair to be grinding some nice whole bean fresh coffee and then comparing that to some shit that's been ground for, uh, you know, in a bag for a while. I think would change the the scores a little bit, because I don't think you can get like Folgers and, um, well, you can get Dunkin' whole bean. You can get Dunkin', you can get Dunkin whole bean. So our first and second were the same, just flip. We just flip. And, and my, my tried and true, one of my favorite coffees of all time that I've bought hundreds of bags of, which was Black Rifle, which was third place. I will say it came in third, so it didn't come in down here, but it came right middle of the pack. And what's funny is you love Black Rifle coffee. Yeah. Although our normal coffee that we use, I will say this Black Rifle is the, uh, is the just black. Normally, what I get a, a subscription of is at an AK-47 blend, which is their espresso blend. Um, but again, it's whole bean that we grind fresh and then make coffee of, which is a very different thing than yeah. pre-ground. So it is what it is. Hey, I know what I'm going to be buying if like... Um, <laughs> if, if if we're out of Black Rifle or I we're know out I of... like don't have any creamer and... <laughs> it's interesting to see because, you know, you get a preconceived notion of like... Maxwell House and Folgers and all these, you know, budget brands being hot garbage and, you know, these others as being this excellent stuff. And when you take all the hubbub away and all the hype and all the everything and you strip it down, you know, the grocery store coffees aren't as bad as you might and think. And the Folgers, you only had to use half of the amount of coffee I, for the same amount of water. I, that amazing. I was actually, when I was brewing it, when it came out, I thought, wow, this, I thought it was going to look like water. So I was like, I only put one scoop in this thing. Now, and it did it. Did it. I so. will say this is their coffee house medium dark blend. Yeah. So it's not like the standard plain medium roast. It's, you know, but still, I, I don't mean, know if that affects it, but it's still, it was like four bucks for this. It's still Folgers and it still came in for <laughs> one for me. Uh, what does that say? I don't know. I don't know, folks. It is what it is. <laughs> That's the beauty of the blind taste, man. It gets rid of all the fluff and the bullshit and gets down to brass tacks. And that's what we were doing. I know a lot of folks are a little strapped for money right now. So we thought that this would be good. You guys really liked the, the budget whiskey video. So we wanted to do a similar thing with coffee and them's the results. Love them. Them's there. Love them, hate them, whatever the case may be. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Before we go though, we do need to do our drawing for the giveaway last video, which was the budget was a benchmark uh, whiskey tasting video. Yeah. The kind folks over at Bartender Blend, Anders Erickson, if you guys don't know, like I said in the last video, definitely go check his channel out if you don't. He is a fellow YouTuber. He has a cocktail channel. He was an ex-bartender, was a bartender for years. Very knowledgeable fella, very nice guy. He got his own coffee going, trying to make it to where it was a good coffee for putting coffee for cocktails that include coffee in the recipe, uh, but also wanted something that was really good to drink on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is his blend, really, really good stuff. And he gave us a six month supply uh, to give away. So that was last week's giveaway. And let's do our drawing real quick and go. Winner is Dan. Chloween. Dan, I am so sorry if I am butchering your name, but Cl Chloween. Clawin? Chloween. Chloween. <laughs> Dan, I'm really sorry, but hey, here's the thing. People, my last name is Sires, and people have always my entire life said Sears. So I understand your pain, and I greatly apologize for <laughs> mispronouncing your last name. But Dan, you are the winner. His comment was, BT is good, talking about Buffalo Trace, but goes to show you quality does not always equal price. Great video. Hashtag bartender Glenn, hashtag cheap drunk. Dan, thank you, my friend, for being a subscriber. Thank you for commenting. And yes, I wholeheartedly agree. And, and that <laughs> rings the, true. The same thing rings true in this week's video. Price does not always dictate quality. We will be uh, reaching out to you to get you to send us an email so we can get your mailing info and we will be getting you your six month supply of Bartender's Blend. Now, speaking of six month supplies of Bartender's Blend, being that this is a coffee video, the good folks over Anders and my buddy Rockwell over at Bartender's Blend have agreed to do 
another six month supply. That's right. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, those got awesome guys. We appreciate them uh, doing this for us. And uh, we're gonna do another six month supply. So rules are as always. What we're gonna do is you gotta be a subscriber to the channel. You gotta smash that like button. You've got to comment down below. Comments are gonna be again, hashtag bartenders blend because they're the ones giving away the coffee. And hashtag caffeine buzz because your boy has got some caffeine going <laughs> through his veins right now. And also there's gonna be a link down below. I'm gonna need you to click that and the guys over there want you to sign up for their newsletter. So do all those, sign up for their newsletter and we will draw a winner live in our next upload. Again, we draw them live because we've had these scammers down in the comments doing this and telegram me at me off tolls. I just hate, I hate scammers so bad. Just scum of the earth. It's it, they're right up there with like some of the shittiest people on the planet. Just taking advantage. I hate people that take advantage of people. Pisses me off. And these assholes are out there trying to scam people out of their hard earned money. And it irritates me. So I hope you guys like this video, man. This was uh, fun. I won't sleep tonight because the amount of coffee I've had. So <laughs> I'm suffering for you guys. It was good. Big Al won't sleep tonight. Now I'm probably going to go. Uh... Well, it's only 2.43 in the it's afternoon, so hopefully you've got enough time to... I know she is especially sensitive to, like... If as long she, as if she before drink, 4 o'clock. We're suffering for you guys. It's not really suffering. It's <laughs> torture, let me tell you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, feel free to smash that like button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. And we'll see you in the next video. That's right. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. I will come across the table and scissor kick you in the head. Hey, you remember that? <laughs> Ricky Bobby, man. That was a great movie. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. I don't remember lines from movies. Shake and bake. Oh, man, that was a great movie. <laughs> not, as, not as good as his other movie with uh, what's his name. It's like, I'm going to put my balls all over your drums. <laughs> that was Step Brothers. I think that was such a good movie.